So basically, you're saying if you're you're saying yes to that, that the owners should participate, and that I, may be a way. I, I think the question answers itself. The owners, yeah. the owners need to participate. Right. And uh, there's nothing. There's really nothing uh, uh, more disheartening uh, than to uh, have people come to you on the street, you know, and say, "How could you be doing this? How could you be doing that?" And I'll say, "Have you come to the meetings? Do you know what we're doing?" Well, no, I'm not going to go to the meeting. You know, I don't have time to do that. But somebody told me this, or somebody told me that. It's not fair. It's just not fair to the board. And um, I, um, it is vital, absolutely vital, that the owners come to the meetings and, and make their, and particularly our meetings, which get a little raucous because we invite the audience to participate. There are many associations where the audience is not allowed to say one word. Only the board can discuss it or, or, or guests, you know, visitors that are giving uh, a testimony for some reason. And the membership just sits like sheep, and they have no input at all. And we don't do that in the village. The audience has full access to ask questions of the board before the board finalizes a vote, as you all know. And we have good and welfare where you can really, you know, rant and rave by something. Um, and if it goes on TV, they won't be able to uh, talk about it. Actually, the day of the interesting, meeting, interesting. Oh, are you done, Francis? Let's wait for Francis to get done. Uh, and, yeah. Okay? No, that, that's all I wanted to say. That, oh. I think it's absolutely vital, and it it, it makes me it really. Uh, I find very disheartening the, the apathy of our members. They should be here. They should vote. They should participate. Criticize. I don't care. Come. <laughs> and uh, one other thing I find is I think it's even more important for all the board members to uh, come to the meetings. That would be very helpful. <laughs> yes, that's a good point. That's a good point. We've had that recently where we only had five. Uh, you wanted to say something, yeah. Michelle? Besides broadcasting it on the channels that we already have, and I believe the Michelle, so everyone can hear, you have to have the mic, sorry. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, we, no, we just need someone in the front to, to move it around. Besides person. broadcasting on the channels that are already there, and I believe the equipment is still here, um, from what I had understood before, there was equipment somewhere buried in the office. Besides taking that, just setting it up, it doesn't cost us a dime. I would also, at the meetings, for those that cannot attend to be there, have the phone where they can call in if they have a question or they want to respond for their time. Oh, all right. I mean, Look, you know, ideas are some all people well. that are ill or might be at the hospital, but, you know, you don't know. And yeah. they might always come to a meeting and that one time they can't be there. And it is very important. The one thing I cannot tolerate is when I see 50 million emails from what happened at a meeting, especially when I was home with pneumonia, I couldn't go to a few meetings. And it was just hearsay, hearsay, hearsay. And you don't know what really happened or what didn't. And then when you do stop and ask somebody, you're not know if they're telling you the full, they're only telling you what they thought. Sure. Okay. Right. You have something to say? Thank you, Michael. One second, Michael's bringing you the microphone. If meetings, uh, the Comcast issue has been explored in depth and it is a potential and a will cost. Uh, we have to, it is involved with our contract with them. But, at the same time, if the, meet, if the meetings are filmed, which they are now, you can have the tape immediately maybe play in the uh, clubhouse on our large screen, maybe at a certain time following a meeting so that people can actually come in and observe it. Well, I'm just saying there are ways and uh, that's enough of that. It has to be, it's part of the things we have been uh, Proceeding. Okay, thank you very much. Look, folks, we're a little, we're a half an hour. Uh, we were scheduled to go till nine o'clock, but I, I really appreciate the patience and the cooperation and the uh, demeanor of the audience. And I think uh, you have gotten to know uh, a lot of the, you've gotten to know these people a little bit better, which was really the purpose of this meeting uh, to start with. I'm sorry that the others didn't make it. Uh, we have another candidates meeting on Thursday that you'll be able to ask questions. So I think uh, we've had uh, enough exposure for this evening, and unless anyone is dying to say something else. And uh, Christine uh, has uh, coffee warm for you and tea warm for you. So go right next door. Thank you very much, candidates, for showing up. We appreciate it.
This program has been brought to you by John Hammerson. Thank you.